Oh man, what have I gotten myself into? I am super excited because yesterday I just picked up a new project that's probably gonna keep me occupied on the side at least for several weeks, maybe even a couple of months. Don't worry, I'm not selling the Pinnacle. Check this out right here. This is the Scout off-road trailer. I think this originally came out around 2016 or 2017, but it's basically a, a DIY off-road trailer kit, more or less. It gets shipped to you all in pieces and you have to assemble it and put it all together. And uh, I saw one of these quite some time ago and thought, what a, what a cool, you know, fun project trailer. And basically just gives you the flexibility to outfit it and customize it however you want to. I actually picked this up used secondhand from a, a private party that bought this quite some time ago and only used it a couple times. And this thing was actually garage kept its entire life. I haven't cleaned it, dusted it or anything. I mean, most of the dust got blown off while I was driving it home, but this thing is in immaculate condition i mean this thing is about as close to brand new as you can get you know check out the tires there you can see i mean they are pretty much unused i think the previous owner said he had maybe 25 miles on it in total and so this thing is in just incredible condition wait till i show you inside this thing is packed full of different accessories and basically the previous owner had intentions of taking this out and enjoying it and spent a lot of time in research outfitting it and just never got around to actually using it and so everything just kind of sat for several years now my plan for this trailer is basically to pull everything out of it you know start from scratch just with the shell that it would have been originally and the goal for the project at the end of the day is to end up with a, a trailer a rig designed for a family of four up to four where if you decide you want to go camping at a moment's notice you know maybe an hour notice on the weekend just for a couple nights that you'd be able to have everything you need right here for that camping trip ready to go you know of course off the grid where you don't have to worry about hookups or connections of course you can go pretty much anywhere national forest blm that sort of thing and basically have everything you need from your cooking you know refrigerator cooktop stuff like that to your water supply of course to your sleeping accommodations for four you know uh, shade and protection from the sun that sort of thing basically have everything all put together in a nice package here that would be perfect to just enjoy the outdoors at a moment's notice so that is my goal for this project and you know i really want to be budget conscious throughout it you know i want to prove that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to set up something like this you can really be budget conscious throughout and end up with something that uh, it's just a lot of fun for the family at the end of the day to you know enjoy the great outdoors so i'm going to be keeping it pretty simple budget wise and not do anything crazy but let me give you a kind of a walk around of the the trailer to start with and again this is untouched i mean i haven't even gone through everything that's inside this trailer so we're going to be seeing a, a lot of this for the the first time but basically like i said this is a kit that you can get and you basically assemble it uh, yourself and that's where a lot of the cost savings again this was put together ready for me by the previous owner and it's just a really fun trailer so starting up front you can see it does have an off-road coupler here a nice sturdy jack off to the side there i really like this it actually has a brake a hand brake and so you don't have to worry about chocks notice i don't have any chocks back here i mean certainly you should do it for safety but on a hill like this I'm just using that e-brake to keep everything solid. It comes with, of course, electric brakes on the wheels itself. And then it's got this nice big tongue box. And this is really the only wear and tear that I have found on this unit up on the top, just from laying things on here, I think, and probably dragging them across. 
but let's take a look and see what's inside all the handles are real heavy duty here and it's got a strut on here let's see what we got in here we got a bunch of propane tanks looks like a little fan in here some cleaner bug spray it looks like tent poles we got over here looks like a little uh, propane heater <laughs> I mean, basically the previous owner just put, left everything in here and said, you know, everything is yours. You can have it here. We got some cards back in the corner there. What else we got? Sidewinder. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what a lot of this stuff is. Most of it's gonna be sold off, you know, to try to raise funds for what I plan to do here. But I mean, lots of space here in this front and check out, it's got gaskets around the, the top there to keep everything nice and waterproof. So that is the tongue box. And then I love this space between the tongue box and the actual unit. They gave you enough space to stuff this giant tire right here on a 17 inch rim, a full size spare tire course, nice heavy duty straps. And the previous owner got this nice trash a bag for your, your trash. And I mean, this thing is roadworthy. You can drive just like that. Don't have to worry about it flopping off. And then as we get to the actual trailer, you'll notice it does already have a rooftop tent up there. I think it's the Smitty built brand probably about a king size sleeping area. And for those who have been a subscriber for a long time and followed my channel, you know that the channel really started back in the early days when I had a kind of an Overlander type rig, a Nobo 10.6 that I used to rent out. That's really where the channel started. But I had a very similar rooftop tent to this one here size wise from 23.0. And what I learned after owning that unit for about two years or so, these tents are great as far as how much space you get once everything's opened up, but with a soft shell like this that you have to remove a canvas or a tarp on top, a cover, they are an absolute pain to set up and tear down. And I mean, on my rental, I was doing it constantly, you know, cleaning and checking things. And so what I learned is it's really, if you're gonna do a rooftop tent, I recommend just do the hard shell because it is so much easier setup wise. And so that's my plan there is to sell off this rooftop tent on top here. Nothing wrong with the tent itself. It's just the hard shell is the way to go. And then of course it's got an awning over here as well, which I think it's just a straight uh, pull out, you know, six, eight foot long type deal. And really uh, I love shade. And so I'm probably gonna do something like a 270 degree awning eventually on here. But I mean, check this out. It's got all the mounts here and everything ready to go adjustable. This is very stout and very sturdy up here, the way they designed everything. And then on the, the trailer itself, let me just show you the suspension setup because pulling this home, I drove for about two and a half hours pulling this thing. And this is by far the smoothest riding trailer that I have ever towed in my entire life. And this is why, check this out down here, what you've got underneath here. Look at that suspension there. You've got two shocks, you've got a coil, I mean, this is a very serious suspension setup here. And that is partly why I think it towed so smoothly. I mean, obviously it's a lighter, smaller unit, but I mean, check out the suspension setup. I mean, just really heavy duty. Look how thick and beefy all the metal is. Just looks like a really well-engineered, well-designed suspension setup and basically it'll let you go pretty much wherever you wanna go, you know, camping wise. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Notice on the back, it's got two stabilizers that can rotate out of the way and keep it stabilized when you're unhitched. Then of course, it's got all LED lighting. It's got kind of Jeep style fender flares on it. But let me show you inside the actual compartments. I think we'll start over here on this side. And I basically saw inside these, but I have not pulled everything out. And there is a ton of stuff in here. I love these latches. They're real heavy duty here. It's got some nice gaskets all the way around on these compartments and a nice lip. So I like the way that's designed, but basically this is what the manufacturer intended to be more of a generator compartment. I am not going to be using that because who wants to take a noisy, you know, generator out with you when you're, when you're camping. And so I'm going to bring this up to date. We're going to do some kind of, you know, lithium power pack in here that allow you to be off the grid for several days without having to worry about a generator or anything, but it actually has a, a slide, a drawer in here, nice beefy latch here. So we're going to pull on this. Whoops and then pull this guy out. It's like there's a bunch of things in here. But I mean, this is just very stout, 
very sturdy. I actually have two generators, so I'll be selling these off. I've got this one here and another one that I've got to see if I can get working that I got from him, but just a really nice tray, the way they've laid everything out in here. And then on the door, there's some magnetic things on here, keeping all these different accessories mounted there. So that is this tray here. That's gonna be more, like I said, more of a power area and probably some other accessories in there. And then around the bag, this is really the big compartment back here. We'll go ahead and open this one up and see what's inside of here. Nice big door again, that nice gasket on there. And I mean, check this out. This is just packed full of different things here. I think we've got some, some chairs, maybe some tables in here. Let's see if I can get any of this out. So there's actually dual latches. There's one of these blue ones here on the actual slide itself. And then there's a more beefy pin style one here that locks it in. So you gotta get both of those. But I mean, this feels very solid. Not sure if any of this is gonna fall off as I pull it because it is just stuffed. But yeah, it looks like we got camping chairs, maybe a camping mattress here. Real nice, wow, look at this backpack here. The molly panels on it, really nice. Got, it looks like a folding table, I believe, inside of this bag here. And I'm not even sure what all the rest of this is here. Okay, this looks like the ladder perhaps for the, the rooftop tent, so I'll be selling that, of course, with the tent. And then underneath here, I'm guessing this is some kind of annex maybe that would mount to the tent, maybe like a shower annex or like a patio annex that goes underneath there. And then of course, we got a porta potty back there. Not my favorite thing, you know, for just a couple nights out in the woods. I think just doing your business privately is the best option there. Let's see what we got over here on this side. Let's see, so I gotta reach in here and grab that blue slide. And I think something's about to fall here. It's like there's some different straps holding things on. Let's see what we got over here. These slides, by the way, feel very stout, very sturdy. And it looks like you know everything is uh, stainless steel or some kind of marine grade finishes here. Just looks really well made. Nice tie down points here on the slide. It looks like we've got some kind of rug here to put down on the ground, some more chairs. Let's see, this is a uh, instant shower utility shelter. So I probably won't be keeping that, but that is kind of neat that that's in here. And then we've got another big bag. I wonder what this is here. It looks like a really nice high quality bag. Let's see if I can figure out what all this is here. So we got something reflective here, maybe a pop-up shelter or something. We've got like a towel here. Maybe this is more, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so I got it open and I'm not entirely sure, but I think this might be some kind of annex because I've got this tent floor here and then more tent material. So maybe this attaches to the, the rooftop tent. So I'll have to figure that out later, but I can already tell you, you know, I'm the kind of person that when I go camping, I like to have a very, you know, quick setup and a quick teardown. I don't like to spend, you know, an hour setting up camp. And so these things are nice, but for me personally, I'm gonna be sticking to more just, you know, awning, rooftop tent, you know, things that are real quick and easy to set up that give you that shade and protection. So I probably will be selling this off, but I gotta say, this is a really nice, nice bag, nice sturdy bag. And then back here, it looks like we've got a Coleman hot water on demand. So this is some kind of portable hot uh, water for a shower. You know, imagine it hooks to one of the little mini propane tanks and then you've got hot water on demand. I probably won't be making use of that either because, you know, again, this is really designed for a couple days, a couple nights at a time where, you know, taking a shower, a hot shower is not that important. So I'll be making space for some other things back here, which by the way, these slides, I did not pull them all the way out because I don't want things falling off, but it looks like they can come out quite a bit further there. But I'm thinking maybe a refrigerator, you know, compressor refrigerator back here. And we'll see what else I do on this side here. But, uh, you know, I just like things to be really fast and quick when you get to camp to be able to set up where you're just not pulling out, you know, bag after bag after bag and setting things up. So that's gonna be kind of an underlying theme. 
but we got one more compartment over here i believe this is what the manufacturer intended the kitchen space to be and i love these latches they're just really nice and and beefy but uh, yeah this is really i think where the kitchen space is supposed to be so we've got a paper towel holder that the previous owner added on so little magnetic hooks there i mean this is all steel so you can put anything magnetic there on the doors and then you've got this compartment here that goes back oh i would say about maybe 24 inches or so and it kind of backs up to the generator compartment but there is a solid wall panel there i guess probably to keep fumes and stuff from going to this side and then it's got a little drawer down here actually it's got some little like a carpet mat down here that's kind of nice but it's got another drawer down here with it looks like a nice little camp stove so we'll kind of see about that I gotta say, ever since I have owned my Jayco Pinnacle, you know, it comes with a, uh, a Blackstone griddle, and Jayco introduced me to that, and that is something that I absolutely love. So I might try to figure out a way to put a, a, a griddle here instead of a traditional camp stove. But uh, yeah, it's got the, these slides that pull all the way out, and I mean, this comes out a good, I'd say probably 40, 42 inches. And then this space here, it's got, look up in here, a little stainless steel bowl that you can use, you know, kind of as a, a sink setup if you want. And so we'll see, you know, I'll probably keep this for a uh, kitchen space, but I'm going to be probably revamping it a little bit. I like my kitchen to be, you know, real functional where everything's kind of right where you need it and easy to get access to. But uh, I love the, the flexibility, you know, once I go through and clean out all this stuff just to have an open slate and be able to really optimize this and you know this is made by smitty built which you know for those familiar with smitty built when i think of smitty built i think of you know kind of some entry level stuff in the outdoorsy you know off-road world but uh, this product in particular it just seems like this is one of their higher end products and it just looks like they really went above and beyond uh, designing everything and making it you know something built to last that's really solid i mean it is no doubt a budget off-road trailer i mean there are brands out there where you could spend you know three four five times as much as the cost of, of one of these units here and yeah they may have some more features but i really think smitty built did a great job making the right choices you know uh, putting the right materials in the right places to make this a value-packed trailer that's gonna you know hold up really really well so we'll see what my thoughts are after combing through it and really you know going through this trailer but i did quite a bit of research before and i think this is a a really great overall value well anyway that is a quick walkthrough of the trailer just as is the way i got it i think it's going to be a really fun project i really just want to make it a turnkey off-road trailer you know completely ready to go on moment's notice that suits my camping needs and hopefully a lot of other families as well one day and you know just really be able to have a great time in the outdoors off grid as a family like i said my first step is really going to be going through and pretty much selling off most of what i showed you there inside to raise funds for the rest of what i plan for this this trailer i'll try to probably do some video updates along the way nothing too detailed and then i'll definitely circle back when it's all done to, to show you the finished product and uh, let you check everything out now if you saw anything here that you would like like i said i'll be selling it so definitely hit me a, a comment below but let me know if you have any questions about this or any suggestions for the project along the way and as always thanks for watching